How's it going everybody? This is Dakota from the Techies World and this might very well be the first time you've ever seen me in a turtleneck. As a matter of fact, I've also got on my, I don't know if you can see that, I've also got on my blue jeans as well, so I've got the whole Steve Jobs look down for you this week. And that actually correlates very well with the topic of this video because this week I am finally producing the most, this might very well be the most requested video I have ever had in my, I don't know, five, six years I've been uploading on YouTube. And that is we're going to be taking a look at Mac OS X Lion. It is the another installment of the Is It Still Useful series, and a lot of you guys have been asking for it, and you're getting it this week. And so we're going to be taking a look at Mac OS X Lion, otherwise known as 10.7, and we are going to put it through the ringer, sort of say, and we're going to test it out and see if it is still useful as a modern OS in 2017. So first off is the task of trying to find what machine I want to run Lion on for my testing. I actually have two machines in my computer stash that are actually running Lion. A uh, 2006 iMac, uh, which I actually keep downstairs, but I actually decided not to use that machine. I actually decided to go for this little guy. This is a 2008 um, MacBook, or if you are a computer collector, you probably call these things the Crackbook, and uh, that's what I like to call them. Now, I'm going to warn you right now, Lion requires 2 gigabytes of RAM to boot. Uh, that is because Lion is a full 64-bit OS. This machine has 2 gigabytes of RAM. A um, little disclaimer is that most of, if not all, of the slowness that I'm going to uh, kind of show you in this video is going to be related to the fact that this machine has 2 gigs of RAM. I should probably also mention that Lion was first released to the public on July 20th, 2011. That means that the operating system is almost 6 years old as of the date of making this video, which is in early March 2017. So, enough of me blabbering, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, web browsers. On OS X Lion, we have a choice of these web browsers, Safari 616, Google Chrome 49, or Firefox 48.0.2. It should be noted that out of all three of these browsers, Firefox is the most recent browser out of all three. While I conducted the basic web browser test, testing each browser under various different websites, I decided to throw in some browser benchmarks. We're going to use the speedbattle.com test for testing Java performance, the Jetstream test for testing JavaScript performance, and the Peacekeeper test for testing HTML5 performance. First off, we'll start with the speed battle test. As you can see, Firefox is the clear winner in this test, benchmarking 547.09. Next up, the Jetstream test. Again, Firefox just barely edges out Google Chrome in this particular testing. It should be noted that Safari actually failed this particular testing. And then finally, the Peacekeeper test. Once again, Firefox comes out as the clear winner in this test, with again, Safari failing to run this test properly. As a matter of fact, the entire web browser froze and gave me the spinning wheel of death. I actually had to force quit out of Safari in order to get out of it. The last version to support iWork on OS X Lion is iWork 09, which was initially released on January 6th of 2009. However, as you see here, it works perfectly fine and I didn't have any trouble using it. The last version of Microsoft Office for the Mac that works on OS X Lion is actually Office for Mac 2011. However, I just happen to have Office 2008 on this computer just because I happen to like it better. And as you see, Office 2008 even works just fine as well, but you can run up to Office 2011 if you wish. The last version of iLife to support Lion is iLife 11, which was initially released on October 20th of 2010. But as you see, it also works just fine as well. If iMovie just isn't going to cut the mustard, you can actually run a version of Final Cut Pro 10 on Lion. The last version to support Mac OS X Lion was 10.0.9. Now when I first opened it, the first thing I received is this warning telling me that the computer's GPU isn't officially supported. Again, this is a 2008 MacBook I'm running this test on. So even though while it opens, it probably performs like a pile of crap on this computer, but if you have a machine with a supported GPU, it would probably run a lot better. I was also able to access my iCloud email using OS X's built-in mail client without any problems at all. Next, I tried playing a video from a local news station, and as you see, it played perfectly, even in full screen. Hey, 
Vancouver right now. We've had these moderate to heavy downpours drifting through the metro already early this morning. I was also able to watch YouTube videos with no problems at all in full screen and in high definition, by the way, without any problems at all. I was also able to play a movie that I had copied off of my external storage drive using VLC player, and it played perfectly. Although in the video, it seems as though the movie has lag in it, but it actually doesn't. That's just because I'm using QuickTime player to record the screen. So you have to trust me, there actually is no lag whatsoever while playing video. Next up, we're gonna see if we can sync and charge my iPad mini. As you see, when I plug the iPad into the computer, iTunes launches, and it's able to sync and charge. And finally, let's try playing a DVD movie. This particular MacBook actually has a DVD drive in it. And as you see, I inserted the disc and it played perfectly. Well, there you go, Mac OS X Lion. And uh, I will say this as well, that uh, the main limiting factor of a lot of older versions of Mac OS X or Mac OS is the fact of no web browser support. Um, as I documented uh, in the video, the last uh, modern web browser is an older version of Firefox. You know, while you can get by with Firefox quite well, uh, it ultimately will become an issue later on as the browsers get more and more out of date. But um, that is just an issue of the operating system and the fact that Apple has left older versions of Mac OS X behind uh, and so have uh, devs as well. A lot of the new up-to-date software doesn't support Lion anymore. A lot of it requires now, I think, Yosemite uh, to even run now, I think, a lot of newer stuff. But, um, you know, picking up these old Macs, you know, they're getting uh, cheaper. Uh, these Macs are getting a lot cheaper to get a hold of. So uh, maybe as a first computer for somebody, they would work great for that. Or as a traveling computer uh, or something along those lines, it would work great for that. Uh, because, I mean, you know, you can still get by fairly well with these machines. So, Lion, my final judgment is it's still fairly useful as long as you don't mind using some out-of-date software. Again, the web browser support is definitely the big thing, and that will become a bigger issue as time marches on. Um, I just hope that maybe somebody will come up with a, I don't know, maybe somebody can write a browser. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And also, when you're hitting that subscribe button, make sure that you please click that bell icon and click to turn on notifications for this channel. Then that way you'll be notified every single time a new video is posted. Check out the website. Blog posts to all new videos are up on the website. Follow all of those social media accounts, and I will see you in the next Tech video. Thank you for watching.